Remember that melon plant I showed you the other day? The one that I said, it's growing on, but not as big as the one that we actually potted on into a bigger container. Since then, we've had days where there's been a lot of sun. It's been quite warm. And now, it's a different story altogether. It's put on loads more growth, which is gonna force us off at weekend to get it put in ground where we said we were gonna put it in the first place. It's amazing how fast these plants grow in just two or three days. I've been keeping my eye on something in one of greenhouses, and that's red cabbage. We started growing red cabbages from really small plants. And that was way back in autumn. And we did those to get a spring harvest. But because we had such up and down weather through autumn and winter and even into early spring, they've been quite slow growing. Although now I think that patience may have paid off. Because I went past that greenhouse this morning and we've got one that's actually formed an head. So I gave that a squeeze to see how firm it was. And it's as hard as a rock. So I'm saying that red cabbage is ready for harvest. It has got a couple of outer leaves on it that's got a bit of burn on it. And that's because when we had wind and rain, it's blown rain into that greenhouse and it's right near the door. Because the brassicas and they're in a greenhouse, we have to keep the door open at all time so they don't bolt. As a result of that bit of rain that's got on it and then the sun coming out, we have got a little bit of burn on edge of the outer leaves but that doesn't matter because we can just take those outer leaves off and then we've got a perfectly good looking red cabbage but the other strange thing about it is that door is constantly being left open and there's not a single caterpillar on any of those cabbages it seems to me that cabbage white doesn't like red cabbage they seem to concentrate more on all your green vegetables but that's good for us since we've been waiting and waiting and I think today is payday. So we'll pop down and we'll have a look at this cabbage I'm talking about and we are going to harvest it. So this is the greenhouse with all those red cabbages in and you can see we've got quite a few in here and they're all very good sizes as well. But it's this one that I've been looking at. And if you take a look up close, you can see where the outer leaves have turned white. And that is basically where it's got wet and then the sun's hit it. But underneath there, it's perfectly red how it should be. And it's a good size. And because we don't need loads of red cabbage, I think it's time to pull this up. Meanwhile, as rhubarb's regrown, it did go to flower. We pulled the flowers and now it's growing more stalks. So I think we can harvest some of these as well today. Definitely got a bit of something to take there. We'll come back to that in a bit. For now, we'll take this red cabbage. And we'll leave the rest of these to grow on, see how they do. This one is quite small, but it's got a nice firm head on it as well. So if you wanted to take a baby cabbage, you could do that. And the same with this one. All of a sudden, they're all coming on really well. Let's get this one out. And it is a bit of a size. As you can see. Now that's a cabbage. Well we can't argue that we've got a really good sized red cabbage there. So we'll strip it back. We'll get rid of those damaged leaves. And we'll see what quality we've got. And I'm also going to cut it in half so we can check that centre and make sure it's all alright. So to start off we will get rid of some of these bottom leaves and they'll go straight into compost. I 
I'll see if I can cut through the main stem with these. If not, I'll just go and grab a knife. It's definitely a knife. That should do it. Let's get the rest of these leaves off. Normally when I strip these back, I always find lots of little slugs at the bottom, and there isn't one. So now we can see a bit better that it's a really good sized red cabbage. Not a sign of any insects whatsoever, which is brilliant. You can see in there, amazing red colour. But these are the leaves that we were looking at, where the sun has just caught them. So it's caused that white burn to edges. So they're what we're taking off. So we're left with that. And that, to me, is a really solid head of cabbage. Brilliant. Just get rid of all these leaves. So now greenhouse floor doesn't look quite so bad. I'll see if I can cut the rest of this stem away. Much easier to cut through once you get closer to that cabbage. This bottom part was really tough to cut through. And now you can see that harvest. Well worth waiting for. There is a little bit of burn on the edge of that leaf. So just to be particular, I'll take it off. Now we've got a really clean red cabbage. But I'm going to chop it in half to see what that inside looks like because we can wrap it in cling film as two separate halves and then pop it in fridge and it will still last a long time. It doesn't matter too much where we cut it. We'll just half it. It's got a nice fresh crunch to it as well. And that looks amazing. Got quite a thick stem part, but we've still got plenty of red cabbage. Well, I'm pretty pleased with the way that's come out. We've got some really nice red cabbage there. What we'll do with that is we'll use one half to put on a meal. The other half we're going to shred and I'm going to pickle it. Because pickled red cabbage is really nice. And I've got a recipe or two for that, so what we'll do is we'll get that sorted out and then I'll put that video on his cooking channel. And we've got a link in the description if you've not seen cooking channel yet because we do a lot of this sort of thing on that channel where we grow food, we harvest it and then we make meals out of it or we preserve it so we can make this food that we've grown last as long as possible. And that's what it's all about. So if you've not seen cooking channel yet, click on that link in the description, go over to that channel, hit that subscribe button and then as we start preserving all these harvests, as we go through summer and into autumn, you'll be able to watch those videos as well. So for now, we'll get those tucking doors and then we'll come back out and we'll have a look how much of that rhubarb we can also get. Just before I do go back inside, I want to say thank you to Digwell Greenfingers who commented on a previous video. And it was the one where we was trying to identify the problem with those cherry fall bush tomatoes. Which is now, thanks to that comment, being identified as septoria leaf spot. Which is still quite a serious disease that spreads from plant to plant, just like early blight. So you still need to keep those plants isolated if you see any of that on your leaves. But we now know that we need to go out and get a copper-based fungicide spray. 
and spray all those leaves and that's going to give that plant an even bigger chance to survival and giving us some fruit. So thank you very much for that comment, really appreciated. And if you've enjoyed watching us harvest that red cabbage and you want to see what other things we're going to be harvesting as we go through summer, then please hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.